over a year of UK lockdown time. UK crafters have been mass producing artwork like they were Lord and Mary Hoo-ha. However, after some people struggling with the complexities of knitting and Mona Lisa portraits, some with the lack of artistic skills have become redundant in the artistic world, reducing their free time to watching Homes Under the Hammer. But one lady in the heart of Nottinghamshire has discovered the ultimate UK pastime, diamond painting. What could that be? It's, it's a new craft that I found and it's really, really good. good. And you get a picture and you get a, a side down here that tells you all the different colours which I have put individually into pots because it's easier to get it out of pot um, than to get it, they give you little bags but I find that easier. And then you put the colours where they say, for example, I'm doing F, F at the moment. So I look down and F is number 13, which is what I've got at the moment. And then when I've done them, I should go on to another colour. This is on to protect it because it's all very sticky. And if you didn't put that on, it would just stick everywhere. That is just to protect it. This is Venice. This I absolutely love Venice. And this is a picture of Venice, which is my next one after my Santa Claus one. Now you'll see that the top is a bit different. It's not clear. But if I fold it back carefully, you will see once again lots of different colours. Again, I will match them up to these colours. Every set comes with its own colours. And as you can see, there's quite a few there. So when I start this, I will f put them in, in individual like I have there. It's very satisfying. And it, when it starts to come together, it's so, oh, you just, I just can't wait. I have to steel myself to not do it because I love doing it so much. And at Christmas, my husband sent in two photographs to this company, Happy Painting, in our garden with my two grandsons and John, and then my two grandsons with me, and I have done a diamond of those. I've got a collection of diamonds I have done here. And these are the two of my favourites. That's one with me and my grandsons. And then there's one with John with my grandsons. And these were absolutely thrilling to do because obviously they were my family. But I have done lots. I've done dogs. My little, we used to have a Scotty dog. So I've done that. That is lovely. And I am very, very fond of poppies. And so I have done quite a few poppies. And this is all picked up whilst we've been in lockdown. And I just love it. it it's, they're, not, they're, they're not expensive. You can pay quite a lot if you want. It depends on the size. But I just feel that it's... It's a craft anybody could do. You don't have to be a crafty person to do it at all. And I've even done Venice. But if you'd like to know anything, please, please, please feel quite free to, to speak to me about it whenever you would like. There. So I, I really hope that you enjoy looking at the diamonds with me. And if I uh, say, if you would like any help, please just ask me and then you can have a, you can even have a go yourself. 
You don't need anything, it all comes complete. You get all your tools, you get all your diamonds, you get your beautiful picture, and that's it. So I really hope that I've encouraged you to do diamond painting. Thank you.